Bonjour, hello, and welcome to my channel, Sarah Sear Tarot. I am Sarah. And this reading is for today, January 9th, or for wherever, for whenever you're watching this. Light some sage, clear out any negative energies that may be here. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, please guide me for my highest good and help me to give the message that needs to be heard by those that are listening today. Let no spirits enter that mean harm to me or those that are listening. Just want to point out I got a new little kitty cat. Thought it was so cute. Got little flowers on the bottom. I went to this gift shop and they had it in the little gift shop. So I'll add it to my collection of little animals over here. Okay. We are going to use Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron Reed. So dark out in the morning. First card we get is the Dream Walker. Dreams, the collective good illusions. And the next card we get is the High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selflessness, humility, conscious action. It's a number two card. And the arrow mark master hitting the mark intention detachment. Wow, these are pretty significant cards. It looks like you've been dreaming about something wanting to bring something to fruition for the collective good and you're dealing with it selflessly and it's hitting the mark and um this is like almost like a truth card to like a saggy card Ooh, keeper of the scales fairness balance Maybe something's coming into balance with you doing whatever you're doing is bringing things into balance. Alrighty. Take three cards for you. Three cards for the situation. And three cards for the outcome. First card we get is the Nine of Pentacles. It's a single happy person there. They've earned all their money. This is your energy. Um, you're fully comfortable in whatever you've built for yourself and you're pretty happy being alone. And you know that all the things that you have are things that you earned on your own. Uh-oh. Ten of Swords. You've been backstabbed and betrayed by somebody. And you had to move on to calmer waters. Could be a past lover. Maybe it was a work situation. But you got in this boat and went off somewhere else where there wasn't all this backstabbing going on. That card wanted to come out, but we'll see if it still comes out. I don't know what it was even. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, let's see what situation is going on here.
Well, the first three cards are going to be for the situation. We have the Empress, Queen of all Queens. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with. The Nine of Wands, leading the way for others after a battle. Raising consciousness. You're at a very, this, this is a very high vibrational card. The outcome we have here, the five of swords, collecting, <clears throat> collecting up some swords after an unfair fight that occurred. I think you're dealing with somebody that is a queen of all queens and is leading the way and raising the consciousness of others. And the outcome is you're being able to pick up some swords after an unfair fight. You're going to get some kind of communication. Eight of Wands. That there was this unfair fight. And then we get the Hermit. Being wise, finding your light within. The person that you were dealing with raised your consciousness. This queen of all queens. And you dug deep within. You had to fight some unfair fight. And maybe this is just you that you're dealing with. I don't think this is another person. Because to start off with, you had, <clears throat> you are a single happy person. And this is like a story that's going on. And in the end, you become this wise sage. And having the ability to lead others, you've accomplished something. The card underneath is strength. You've overcome something. You've overcome some toxicity that you've had to, this backstabbing and betrayal. You had to move on from it. And you realize that you are this empress, this queen of all queens, and that you have the ability to lead others through whatever battle you've gone through. And your journey is to raise others' consciousness. There was an unfair fight. And you have the ability to communicate this because you've become this wise sage. You have strength to overcome this sneaky, lying behavior, this backstabbing that you had to go through and move on from. Okay. Let's see, what blocks, if any, are you dealing with? What blocks? Let's see what blocks you're dealing with. You have the Four of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Knight of Cups. Um, I think you've been stuck and holding on to holding on to something too tightly. And you're at a crossroads and you're not sure about um, moving forward with some type of love offer. You've been stuck about moving forward with some type of love offer because you've gone through this betrayal and you're stuck in it, your head, like you're, you're just at this crossroads. What advice can we give to those that are listening? Magician, <laughs> you have all the tools. You have all the tools at your disposal. You have the wand, 
which is passion. You have the cup, which is your emotions, your feelings. The sword, which is about your thoughts or truth. And the pentacles is about having the money or the means to accomplish something. So you have all the tools to get unstuck. What else advice? Ooh. First three cards are for advice. Ooh, it's about your work. Eight of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles. Um, you have all the tools to become very, very wealthy. And wealth, it has to do with your work. But in this wealth card here, You're not only wealthy in terms of money and financial means. This person is wealthy in terms of their family. You can see the dogs are there. The kids are there. The grandkids are there. They got the family tree with all the pentacles on it. And you got the staff. Remember the hermit earlier? You're wise now. You have that staff. You have this wise... wise you have this wise man's staff, which means that you can impart your knowledge to your family, your kids, your grandkids, the dogs. You have all the tools. Okay, what else does spirit want you to know? Two of Pentacles. Balance. Ooh, we got another card here. And Queen of Cups. That's you deep in your feelings. You have the ability to give a lot of love to somebody or something. This is a highly intuitive card too. It's like the minor arcana card of the high priestess. <clears throat> you're, you have deep intuition. And when you're balanced, your intuition is on spot on. And there's a passionate new beginning there for you. That Ace of Wands. You've been stuck about who to give your cup of love to. You have this stubborn energy, this stuck energy. You've been single for a long time due to some backstabbing and betrayal. <clears throat> But you're moving into your empress. You're realizing you're an empress. The queen of all queens. And you're ready to communicate and give your cup of love to somebody. You're ready for that passionate new beginning. And underneath, we have the five of swords again. You've had the strength to un overcome this unfair fight. You're going to have some swift communication and then happiness, the sun card. Okay. That's your message for today. If you like this message, hit the like button. It helps my channel grow. And if you want to hear future content, hit, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when there's future. And if you would like a personal reading, you can click on the link below in the description box. Bama P. See you later.